Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, another Feed the Beast test pack, please ignore, let's play video. So at the end of last episode, uh, what did I do again? Um, I'm trying to remember. Hmm. Oh yes, I set my tree farm, didn't I? Du -du 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 -du. As you can see, it's been running off camera while I did a bit of strip mining. I've almost populated the entire uh, area that it plants on with, um... Uh, rubber, rubber tree sap, uh, yeah, rubber saplings. Managed to produce a fair bit of wood, so uh, I have managed to produce four and a bit stacks. I've taken one out and actually put it through the uh, red powered furnace, so I can start producing some charcoal. And then the charcoal will in fact go in the steam dynamo instead of my coal coke, which will be pretty handy. Uh, I've I've got um, just a lot of um, ordinary coals. Uh, being converted into coal coke and producing creosote, which I will be using later on to produce. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, produce. Da -da 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 -da. I've lost off my head. Um, yeah, my bees. When I finally start going on bees on this test pack, uh, this, uh, this this mod pack. God, I'm, I'm really not with it this afternoon. So, what am I trying to accomplish in uh, in the uh, episode today? So today, what I want to do is make some new, uh, well, some uh, different Tinker's construct tools. So at the moment, oh, let me come out of that. I've, uh, so at the moment, all I'm making do with is a. Um, so what I've, what I've actually done is gone away, um, made myself an iron pickaxe, and what I've also done is use one diamond uh, to upgrade it to a, uh, di a diamond, um, it was actually technically a diamond pickaxe now, you see, it was originally an iron pickaxe, you put one diamond on it, I'll show you how, so um, if you want to uh, in upgrade your, um, uh, as you can see I've got quite a few diamonds now, I've been strip mining, if you want to upgrade your tools to, uh, to, to make, to make to easily make a diamond pickaxe uh, using Tinker's Construct, all you simply have to do is take any Tinker's Construct pickaxe, put it in your tool station, put it down, put it in the put it in the kind of tool slot there, put a diamond in this slot here, and then it basically upgrades it to a diamond, gives it 500 extra extra durability, and also makes it a uh, a diamond level pickaxe so you can mine up obsidian, which is pretty cool. So I did that to my iron pickaxe, so uh, I so I could go away and mine myself up to some obsidian so I can go to the nether at some point which I will probably do in the next episode but the tools that I want to make in this episode are where are they so if you go to the second uh, materials in you uh, if you go along what I want to make is a hammer which is a uh, is a heavy mining tool so what it does it mines out a three by three area instead of a one by one area uh, which makes mining very very quick and it has a huge durability as uh, this tool has very high to make the constant beating it will receive uh, it also has smite on it so uh, it's really good for just attacking um, the kind of baddies as well so you can use it as a weapon and I'm also gonna be making an excavator so it's a large digging tool so you can dig up a three by three area of anything that is worth digging so to do that we're going well you can make it out of um, just um, you can make it out of like stone things so you can like get like st uh, stone large plates uh, stone tough binding stone hammerhead and stone tough rods but to give it an extra durability, what I am going to be making out of is uh, I'm going to be using my cast. So uh, what, I, what I did do is off camera, went away, made um, like for example this stone hammerhead. So you just make it in the uh, make it in the tool in the part builder. You can then put it in here, hit right click on. Uh, so when so when you've got um, your molten aluminium brass uh, selected, you just right click, it pours it out, makes the mold, which is pretty cool. Which is what I've gone away and done. As you can see, I've got the uh, corresponding mold there, which you can then put down. So I'm going to be making my tools out of uh, out of iron. So let's grab some iron ore. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. Um, let me go along. So I know I know it tells you somewhere. So what I need for the hammer is a hammerhead, a tough rod, and two large plates. So if we also grab the large plate cast, I'm fairly sure that each large plate takes um, eight. Uh, of a particular material to make so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick you in like so I still haven't gotten around to um, uh, sinking this into the ground which I plan on doing uh, off camera as you can see I've got some iron in there which is pretty cool I think it's like the iron um, iron ore being smelted which is pretty awesome uh, it's, it's, as you can see it's smelting away and then what I will be able to do is make um, two of the iron plates um, I'm going to go put this back I'm tempted to make a stone hammer just because I made all the parts for it uh, put this away in my little kind of like mini tinkers construct chest uh, I am looking forward to getting around to doing some AE at some point once I can find enough um, uh, what the, what's it called uh, surface ports so I can do away with all this all this annoying chest and just have a nice convenient AE system um, 
how's, how's, how's this looking? Is it melted down my iron? Almost. Uh, almost. Come on, iron. As soon as this is done, I'm going to add in like a load more iron or just so that it, um, so I, have, so I have a load ready to carry on making all the other parts as well. So there we go. So that's all made. So we're going to add all you in as well. Uh, so we've made up some molten iron. So if we, oh no, I didn't want to do that. We have to click on the, uh, on the little seared faucet so it pours out the mould into here. Here we go. Is that going to make uh, the plate that we want? Let, let it cool. There we go. So we've got our first iron large plate. We also need to make the uh, casting table as well. Hopefully we've got enough in there. We should have. Oh yeah, that might only require... Um, ah, I, don't, I, think I've, I think I've run out. Yes, I think I think the uh, the head required more than I suspected. Well, I'm going to need to get, go get some more lava maybe uh, before I'm done here. I'm not sure yet. Let me just sleep for a second. As it is night time and I just... I don't know why I always just prefer to work during the day. Um, so, let's see how this is going. Have we melted down all that iron yet? Almost. Almost, almost there. So yeah, so yeah. Off, between this and the next episode, hopefully, or between this and maybe a couple of episodes' time, I will have hopefully. Um, so let's pour you into there. Pour you into there. Uh, I will have sunk this into the ground. Or what I do hope to do at some point is um, right across the way, like over in yonder distance. I can't quite see it from here. I uh, I have a natural uh, redwood tree close by. So what I do plan on doing is actually making my permanent base in a uh, redwood tree by making a tree house. Let me just get rid of this cast. We'll put the uh, tough rod, uh, put the rod in there. So yeah, I plan on making the tree house. I once did it on a server I used to play on or back on when we were playing Unleashed, uh, when I was playing Unleashed. And uh, that was pretty pretty sweet having a tree house so made like multiple levels had like a ground level and then a couple of levels above and basically had the ability to just extend it upwards or dig down to the ground so it was a pretty cool base so here we go so we have all our parts so if we go back to materials and you by Skylar go along to the um, hammer so we have the hammerhead we have a large plate and a tough rod so we have all the parts but with our current uh, capabilities with the tool station you can't actually build a hammer in here and the reason for that is it is actually another um so there's an upgrade to not, not, well, not the tool station the tool station there is an upgrade to the tool station called the tool forge now to make that we need uh four blocks of iron we need some seared bricks and a tool station so i think i have enough iron in here somewhere so i've got i made up quite a bit of iron off camera i've still got a fair bit it's not exactly the most uh, difficult um object to find so if we go to the block of iron if we shift click one two three four there we go so we've got four blocks of iron you can make them using the um using these uh what's it called the smeltery as well you just have instead of making a casting table you just make a casting basin and then put all your iron in there but i happen to have some iron processed using my uh thermal expansion machines so we're just going to use that for now so uh what else do we need we need some seared bricks so uh where are my seared bricks and i've got some around here somewhere du -du 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 -du. i've only got four seared bricks hmm interesting does that mean i'm missing do i have any grout grout um maybe i'm out of grout Hmm, interesting. Uh, let me just gather all the stuff I need for grout, which is... Let me go, uh, so... Yeah, so I need at least two, three times as much as what I've got at the moment. So, how do I make grout? So, it's clay, sand, and gravel. So, do I have any sand? Uh, no, I've got limestone. Uh, is sand over here? I've got some sand. That'll do. I uh, need some clay. Uh, let's get five more, just so we can make up a nice uh, number. And then we also need some gravel, which will be over here. Do I have gravel? Yes, I do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Excellent. So we can make that up quickly. Let's make some more grout. Grout. 18 grout. Should be plenty for what we want. Stick, you start sticking you through the redstone furnace. As we go, we've made a, we've, I've managed to make up a load of charcoal, which is very nice uh, indeed. Which I can then use to power my uh, steam dynamo instead of coal coat. You can hear my tree farm going away in the background. Making... Uh, oh. Looks like a skeleton died here. There we go. So we've made, uh, we've made a fair bit of rubber and rubber wood. Like I said, I'm probably going to convert this over soon. Now I've made up a fair bit of rubber. I might convert it over to uh, 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 oak saplings. Um, so where, where are we going? What, what am I doing? Oh, yes. I'm waiting for the uh, the seared bricks. There we go. So we're almost there. We need one more. There we go. That's all the seared bricks we need. Let me just put these uh, this bone and this arrow in here. Uh, so we then we need to make all of our seared bricks. So one two three there we go there's the seared bricks we need and then finally we need a tool station i've got one handy i may as well use that one for now make another one uh, for when i go strip mining so there we go we've made our tool forge um can i put it here is that gonna work 
So there we go. So we have the tool forge. So if we want to make our hammer, so we put our head there. We put our iron plates either side. Put there, and da -da 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 -da. we've made a hammer. Does that does it tell you the durability? Durability two thousand nine hundred twenty-four. That's pretty awesome. I'm definitely putting a diamond on that. So we'll grab a diamond, which will increase the durability as well. So if we stick you in there, we also stick a diamond on, so it's increased its durability even more. And it's also made it obsidian level, so we can dig through pretty much anything. Um, what you can also do, some of the other cool modifiers you can use are things such as so we grab some redstone. Uh, go on here, put this in here. Um, how much redstone is it going to take? So you need at least 50 to um, give you haste. So I'm just wondering what's the best. So can you do this in stacks? No, this is what. So it's kind of annoying that you can't do this in stacks. So you just have to do this over and over again. I'll, I'll, I'll carry on doing that off camera, but I'll put, I'll put haste on that. But for now, what we also want to make is our. Uh, where is it? Our excavator. So we've got an excavator head, large plate, tough rod, tool bindings. Let's not go to the uh, menu. So if we go into the pattern chest, did I make the excavator head? Um, maybe I, um, no, maybe I didn't make the excavator head. So first things first, we need to make at least a stone uh, version of that. So let's grab some wood so we can go doop doop, make some sticks. And then we go like that. We make a blank pattern. Go to the stencil table. Let's find an excavator head. Uh, that's not it. Excavator head pattern. That's what we need. Then we can go to the tool station. Not the tool station. The part builder. We put the excavator head in here like that. We also need some stone. Let's grab a bit of cobblestone. Put that in there. That's not right. Is that right? Part builder. You go in there. Excavator head. Oh no, we need at least. We'll need a few more because it's like a multi. Uh... Is that right? Why isn't that working? Does that go in there? What am I doing wrong? I'm sure I'm doing this right. Excavator head pattern. Material cost eight. So, oh, there we go. It's, it's, picked, it's picked it up that time. Very weird. So we'll just put that stone back. Then what we need to do is go over to our uh, smeltery. Put the molten aluminium brass on the bottom. Get rid of you, because I'm not sure I need you. Then we can put the stone excavator head in like that. Right click on our faucet. Make our cast. Get rid of both of them. Put you on there like so, and then we can swap back to the molten iron. Start forging you. So what else do we need for the excavator? Let's go along. So we need a large plate, tough binding, and a tough rod. We can do that. So let's make the tough rod as well. Or am I out of iron? Apparently I'm out of iron. Oh great. So we need some more iron. Um. Oh, I had some in my inventory. What am I doing? Silly Ollie. So let's put the iron in like so. I'm definitely going to need to go grab some more lava as it's running out. Uh, so we made our excavator head. Let's go put the stone one away so we don't really need that. So then we're also going to need our tough... So what else do we need? Let's put the large chest plate, large chest plate away. Put you in there. So we need the tough binding. We need the tough rod which is already over there. We don't need the hammer. Uh, so yeah, it's just a it, was, it was literally just the iron excavator head which we were missing. So if we go back over here. How's our iron doing? So it's getting there. So we have the tough rod. We have. We can take you out. We need to put you in there. Oh no, I didn't need the plate. That was uh, silly of me. Jog back over. Um, there we go. One large plate, which will take at least eight iron, which is kind of a crazy amount. So to tell you on here, material cost eight. Material cost eight. So we've almost finished making up my iron. Although if you like looking here, you can see certain things going on, which is pretty awesome. So there we go. That's all melty click it so it's on the bottom and because the uh, aluminium brass is now on top you can see it in there I like, I like, it's, a, it's a really neat touch you can just like look inside and uh, we just uh, click that so that's on the bottom and then when you look you can see your uh, what's it called your iron on top instead so we want the iron on the bottom is that's the one we're going to be doing how much have we got in there we have 14 so how much does this take the tool that takes three I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough here so how much does the that costs three might just about have enough that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to right click on there and then we also need to pour you out as well actually i think i've just got enough because that takes three that takes eight and this finally takes three so i've literally just got enough few with the 14 in there so we get the plate we've got a tough rod and we'll get you out of there so i can put you back in my little um part chest so let's put our cast back inside 
like that. There we go. Then we can go to the tool forge. We can find the excavator. So we put in our excavator head, our binding, our plate, and there we go. We've made an excavator with reinforced one. Now I'm now going to go. Let's go down to the mine. Show you how these work. How awesome they are for like doing strip mining. So let's just run down into the mine. This acts as a weapon now, so if I meet any zombies or anything down here, I can beat the snot out of them. Are they around here somewhere? Nope. So this is my copper level mine, so we'll just choose somewhere to start digging out. We'll say, for example, here. So choose this, and then boff! Wow, look at that. So this is why we need to increase the speed, and it does take a fair bit of time. And then you can dig, dig away like that. So that's the excavator at work, digging out a large area. Um, let's dig out you like that. And again. So you can basically just like go along, bash, bashing things out, create, creating untold destruction using the uh, using the excavator and the... So hang on, let me just swap that over for there because that way then I can go poof. I, I like that with Tinker's Construct of Tools. If, you ha if it's on your first slot and you have torches in your inventory, you can literally just right click and it deploys a torch for you. So there we go. So we've already found some copper ore. Taking a little bit longer to mine out. It's going to bash this one. As you can see, it's creating a uh, rather large uh, area. So if we just make sure we get all of that in one go. Boff. And yeah, the untold destruction of the um, of the hammer is incredible. Just makes for strip mining so much quicker. Uh, works slightly better at lower levels when there's less dirt, but uh, we can't really help that. So let's get back to the uh, hammer so we can dig you out. Off. Digging off some aluminium. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. Let me just grab this last bit of copper, and then I will come off. Let me just do it with the uh, with my with my pickaxe here. There we go. So that's just demonstrating my two new tools: the uh, hammer and the excavator. A uh, bit a bit of a bit more advanced tinker's construct. I will eventually hope to make these out of um, like cobalt and ardite, but that will require a trip to the Nether, which is in the which is my plan for the next episode is to do a little bit of a Nether hunt to get some much needed resources from there, as uh, there are some uh, rather cool things uh, that you can get in the Nether, which. Um, I will try and find such as like a blaze spawner as well, get myself some blaze rods, which will all be very handy. So I'm going to leave the episode there for now. Thanks for watching everybody. As always, it's nice seeing you comment on my videos to let me know if you're enjoying it, if you think I can do anything better, what you think I can improve. If you like the video, don't forget to hit like and favourite. It really helps me with your support to show me that you're enjoying my content. If you're new to the channel, it's always nice to see you hit that subscribe button. And again, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.